Okay, I'm going to try this spot. I haven't fished this spot in, the, in quite a while. Um, this body of water is overrun with panfish, and they're all stunted. There are some bass in here, not a whole lot of them. I think the panfish get all over them when they, when they uh, try to nest up. Uh, but the bass that are in here uh, are good size. So that's what I'm going to go for today. I'm going to use something. I'm going to use this real small MEPS. When you when you got a, a forage base like that, these bass, they they're pretty finicky. They don't want they don't like to work for their food. So let's see what happens. Okay, this is a real nice bass. I'm gonna give him a measurement. I don't know if you can see. I caught him on that uh, tiny little map. Oh, that's a real nice bass, guys. Biggest one of the year so far, but it's early. All right, let me let me get a, a measurement on him. Okay, I don't know if you can make that out. Uh, he's about 19 inches. Let me get a weight on him. Okay, as you can see, that's a good sized bass, guys. Okay, let me let this guy go. Thank you. Okay, uh, every once in a while it'll work out. I knew that pond uh, wasn't going to produce a lot of bass, but uh, hopefully a big bass because of all the stunted uh, panfish. And that's exactly what happened. Uh, I even caught them on what I was expecting. So every once in a while it shines down on you and things work out. So it was a good day. I got that one decent sized bass, probably a good, that's probably a good three and a half pound fish. Uh, maybe a little better. But um, okay, everybody, thanks for watching.